Today for something that is very special, very very big and momentous, especially in this community and this locality. Alhamdulillah, by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a project that started in 1996 is finally coming to fruition before 2016 even comes. So it didn't take 10 years, right? Alhamdulillah. And so this is something that we want to share with anyone and everyone that we can, Muslim and non-Muslim alike, whoever we can get the news out to. We want to give this beautiful news that Alhamdulillah Dua Institute which is a branch of As-Safa Islamic Center, is will start beginning today, inshallah. So alhamdulillah, right, uh, we're going to begin right now, and as we're beginning, we're going to introduce some of our guests and some of the people who have been part of this organization for a very long time, and we can tell them to take a seat at the table, and afterwards we'll go begin Qarat and into the presentation uh, today, inshallah. <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الذين ينفقون في السراء والضراء والكاظمين الغيظ والعافين عن الناس والله يحب المحسنين Right now we're going to start off with Mufti Zaid Khan. He's a very famous person, I think, around the city. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala mulla nabiya ba'da sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in amma ba'd. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, all praises due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has created us, sustains us, has blessed us with Islam, has given us the ability to be gathered here in His remembrance. So all praises due to Allah who has made us from amongst the nation of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We understand that people want to become hafal. We understand that people want to train to become scholars, but it is not possible for every single person. But what is necessary for every single individual in our communities, especially today in this environment, in this time and age, is to be an educated Muslim. And in order, for due to, uh, in order for us to be able to provide those resources, we have to develop curriculums and programs that addresses the issues that professionals and students who are going to colleges and high schools face. And that is the purpose of the Islamic Studies program, inshallah, which we are trying to begin and which has started today. So one of the objectives of the Islamic Studies program, it focuses on educating students about the building blocks crucial to the foundation of our faith. A person can say, for example, what is going to be studied in an Islamic Studies program? There are so many things to learn about in Islam. But what we have to understand is in Islam, there are priorities. A person has to first understand what are their own responsibilities to Allah and then they have to move on to whatever their responsibilities are to the creation. <coughs> to expand the fields of theology, methodology, Islamic law, history, ethics, and study of texts. Because I believe that these particular fields will cover, at the very least, the general basics. Each class will be grounded in traditional sources, but also examine the contemporary issues and challenges facing Muslims today. It is very easy for a person to say that I will go study the, the rules of purity, 
but to understand what new questions arise every single day and what issues that we face. And I think we are in need of many individuals like that. If you have any questions, feel free to approach me after the conclusion of the program. With regards to any questions or concerns that you might have about the classes or the registration or the payment, feel free to ask. Uh, they have a, we have a Facebook page, Dua Institute, uh, one of the best ways to probably share information very quickly. So like the page, share the page, invite your friends to it. Inshallah, we hope to see everybody in class, if not this semester, then inshallah in the upcoming semester. Zakallah. বর্তমান সমাজের বিভিন্ন ইউনিভার্সিটি সহ বিভিন্ন মাদ্রাসার ওলামা এবং এক্সপার্টদের নিয়ে বিভিন্ন রিসার্চের পর আমরা নতুন এই কারিকুলাম সৃষ্টি করেছি বিশেষ করে হাফিজ কোর্স আলেম কোর্স যে কম্বাইন্ড তারপর এই যুগের সাথে উপযোগী করে সাজানো হয়েছে এবং আমাদের স্কুল স্কেজুয়াল হচ্ছে একাডেমিক স্কুল ক্যালেন্ডার যেটা নিউ ইয়র্ক সিটির যে ইসলাম স্কুল ক্যালেন্ডার আছে সেটাই আমরা অনুসরণ করবো যাতে স্টুডেন্টরা এবং গার্জেনরা ইজিলি তাদের সময় মেনটেন করতে পারেন আমাদের যে দোয়া ইনস্টিটিউট দারুল মাসাফা ইনস্টিটিউট এখানে বিশেষ এডুকেশনাল সিস্টেম রয়েছে যেটা ফিফটি পারসেন্ট আমাদের সেকুলার এবং ফিফটি পারসেন্ট রিলিজিয়াস দুইটা সিস্টেম আমাদের এখানে শিক্ষা দেওয়া হবে এই জন্য আমি সবাইকে আহ্বান জানাচ্ছি আমাদের এই শিক্ষা কারিকুলামে অংশগ্রহণ করার জন্য First, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we extend peace and salutations upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the tabi'in and those that follow their footsteps. Ameen. I have two news for you. One is the good news, the other one is the bad news. Inshallah, we will only, we'll only be giving you good news today, no bad news. He says, the good news is that, alhamdulillah, we have the money for our building. You know, we have it. The bad news is that it's in your pocket. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, here you only have the good news. It's done. And you'll, inshallah, you'll keep hearing good news until you leave. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of us and accept us. So, the Alam course, inshallah, we know ilm, knowledge is something so important in our lives. Without ilm, without knowledge, Knowledge is a light from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-ilmu nuru min ilahi. This knowledge, it comes directly from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Once we have it in ourselves, once we understand the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, once we understand what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam brought, brought to the ummah, then we can only then we can live a blissful life in this world and the hereafter. Without this knowledge, we will have to go through many obstacles in life. So Alhamdulillah, the unique thing about our Alam course in as safa in Dua Institute, is that while doing Alam course, inshallah, we will also continue our secular education. We will also be, we will also be doing academics. Compared to many other schools, so a lot of the other schools, other madrasas, they have Alam course, but they do not have any academics. Inshallah, when our students will graduate the Alam course, all of them will finish, they will graduate from the high schools also, and if they want, they can further their education, if they wish to, they want. And also, if they want to go to college, they're most welcome. So, through this Alam course, of course, we are protecting the deen that Rasulullah brought to us. It is very important for us to know every single thing in detail. The Islamic studies are for those people, uh, like Sheikh Zaid mentioned, but for those of us that have time that are younger, the duration of our Alam course is seven years. And the goal, inshallah, will create future scholars and leaders. So inshallah our students when they graduate they will have they will be the head of all fields inshallah. Whether it's medicine, business, anything else. Of course, if we had these type types of institute from before and we had you know great leaders and scholars coming out even in politics. What is the difference between secular education and 
the Islamic education. Both are important. The Sheikh said the Islamic education, you learn through the Islamic education through ilm, you recognize your creator. You learn the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you connect with them. And through the secular education, you learn the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You understand his creation better. And both are important. Imam al Shafi'i, rahimahullah, he mentioned medicine is one third of ilm, one third of knowledge in general. So both are important. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in after the battle of Badr, we all know the incident. The captives, the war prisoners, it was about 70 of them. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Sahaba radiallahu alayhi wa have decided that if they want to be free, they need to give, they need to buy their freedom with gold coins and, and silver coins, dirhams and dinars. Also, for those of, amongst those of them that do not have wealth, they will be teaching, they will be teaching the children in Medina how to read and write. So now we can understand how important it is. This is not something new. It is done from the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That trade off that, how will my son earn a living? Those days are gone, inshallah. Examples, Mufti Taqi Rahman. Leading scholar in Islamic finance. Consultant to Wall Street. No, he's still living. He's just, uh, he visits very often. Mufti Taqi Rahman. Chef, uh, doctor, Hussein Abdul Sattar, Professor of Pathology, University of Chicago. He's from Chicago. I met him uh, like 10 years ago. Great man. Dr. Mufti Amjad, cardiologist, now running a world renowned madrasa. So there are examples in front of us. It's not far fetched. You know, it's not something that happened 200 years ago in the time of Sheikh bin Badr and Taymiyyah. Right now, right in front of us, Mufti Taqi, Sheikh Abdul Sattar is from Chicago. And he visits New York sometimes. And great, great speaker. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's madrasa was the eldest madrasa. Right? What was the name of the first madrasa? Dar al-Arqam. Arqam bin Abil Arqam radiallahu anhu, his house. He gave it. So that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he could sit there during the day and the companions that accepted Islam in Mecca, they would come there and they would learn. The ilm that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught 1400 years ago, these institutes, for example, Harvard College, Cambridge University, Oxford University, al Azhar University, things they are discovering or the benefits of certain things that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam practiced, 1400 years ago, they are finding now. <coughs> of course, the older the institute is, the, the heavier the weight is. You know, oh, Harvard? Okay, no, he's really educated, right? Al Azhar University? MashaAllah, no, he must be doing his stuff. But Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we forget that. His madrasa was before that. Traditional sciences, and academics, New York State, Department of Education and Regulation, English, Math, Social Studies, and Science will be covered, inshallah. I really enjoyed the event, and I'm actually really excited for everything that's going on. And I'm, um, it's like made me be motivated to be more in touch with, uh, you know, everything that's going on with the community. And yeah, I really appreciated it and enjoyed it. It's hard to find time to uh, take classes when you're a college student, so it's nice that over the weekend you can be here every now and then to take classes. Yeah. So excited for that, definitely. And a lot of places in the city don't have spots for sisters, so this was nice. We see where we're going through. I'll skip some of this easily, inshallah, because I don't want to make you feel boring. But inshallah, program is very interesting. Right? What else in this world could be interesting than Quran? Right? It is Quran, inshallah. This one is the deed. All the time you read and read, it comes up, inshallah. So this is our Hafiz of Quran course. Since we say Alim course, but when it's come to 
Memorization of the Quran, we say Hibs course. I don't know, but we want Hafiz al Quran. That's what we're looking into. So, what is the goal? Is the new standard of Hafiz who know more than just to recite Quran. You see, that is the difference. Because we have Hafiz who just recite, right? They don't know the meaning. But Quran is just by reciting, it has so much baraka in it. That's how it goes on, right? That's why Quran has a very specific term for recitation. It is called Tilawatul Quran. Tilawatul Quran. This is so unique. No other book in this world has this term. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Quran maker, best and the best miracle for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And when you see Tilawatul Quran, we learn it. Look at this perfectly recited from uh, their heart. This is very different. To understand, you just look into that. Qal, right, is a container. Qal is a container. And we have nafs and ruh. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when He talked about the people of Jannah, He said that we need a heart that qalbun salim, the sound heart, right? So, if you just put your Quran into the memory, because our uh, brain works, right? There is a, some part of the memory which takes everything in, but Quran needs to get into the heart. That is very important. So, when you just recite, yes, it gets into the heart, but it is not so deep because Quran needs more of this thing. If you look at the word tilawa, what does it, uh, what is the root word come from where? Tilawa is from? Tala. In Surah Al-Shams, what we recite? Al-Shams, Ibn Duha, Al-Tamari, Iza Talaha. Right? Sun rises, who is gone, then moon, follow it. Tala means what? Follow it. So when you recite something, you should follow it. And this is how Quran Tilawa is. And read Quran uh, with perfect Tajweed and at least one Qira'at. This is very important to understand. Asabai Islamic Center, Ibn Duha, Ibn Duha, Ibn Duha, Ibn now and we're really excited um, that it's where it is and we hope inshallah that it'll go farther and we're really excited to take the classes here yeah. we registered for one class which is nice there's gonna be different courses and it's gonna be scholar courses Hafiz courses and we're going to they're gonna yeah courses so we're going to um try to memorize the Quran and understand the Quran more better and become Hafiz so we can understand the Quran more. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala present khair and blessings in this place and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala utilize this place as a means of guidance and the hidayat of the people until the day of Qiyamah. Jazakumullah khair wa ma'alayna I mean, I am a teacher who is a teacher in Darul Ulam Institute. Asker e Nobonir Mito Bobon and Notun Purishur Shuruhoche. Beta wish Muslim communities in the Ecti Shushangbad, among Ami Monekuri, Je Ekane, New York, Etihash, Emonehoi Protom, Kunu combinedly, Kunu Joto, Adunik among Islamic Shikar Shaman Noe, Ecti Adunik Institute Hoche, among Eta gradually in Barsity Rupan Tirito Hobe and Shalam Rashakurci. এবং আমার মনে হয় যে এর মাধ্যমে মুসলিম উম্মাহ এবং মুসলিম কমিউনিটি অনেক বেশি উপকৃত হতে পারবে বিশেষ করে নিউ ইয়র্কে আই এম ভেরি হ্যাপি টু বি হিয়ার টুগেদার এন্ড আই আই होप দিস ইনস্টিটিউট গ্র্যাজুয়ালি উইল বিকাম এ ইসলামিক ইউনিভার্সিটি थैंक यू सो मच अस्सलाम वालेकुम আমরা আজকে এখানে ইসলামিক আসহা মসজিদের নতুন মাদ্রাসা নতুন স্কুল চালু হয়েছে আমরা খুবই খুশি আমরা অত্যন্ত আনন্দিত এতে আমাদের বাচ্চা কাচ্চারা ইসলামিক জ্ঞান পাবে ভবিষ্যতে সবাই ইসলামিক জ্ঞান লাভ আহরণ করতে পারবে এটা খুবই খুশি